Hi everyone, we're back. Welcome to the new nurse, Math Solutions for Nurses. We're going to start by talking about this new nurse named Josh, who is caring for a patient who has requested pain, something for pain on a scale of 7 over 10. The problem is Josh does not know the difference between milligrams and micrograms, and that is rather frightening because if he's going to medicate this patient, how does he know whether he's giving too much or too little? So let's talk about what is the difference. What exactly is a gram? Well, in measurement, a gram is equal to 1,000 micrograms. I apologize, 1,000 milligrams. And a milligram is equal to 1,000 micrograms. Did, you, did I make myself clear? A gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams, and a milligram is equal to 1 milligram is equal to 1,000 micrograms. Now we're going to talk a little more about where you can find helpful information. If you are that nurse searching for all different, you're not really sure where to look for these things, please go to dearnurses.net and there you'll be able to find math solutions for nurses and it gives you and quite a lot of explanations for all the different problems you have what math solutions in the clinical setting. Let's take a minute to discuss all the things like abbreviations for JCO. Make sure that if you are that new nurse that you're well aware that there are certain abbreviations which are no longer used and the ones that are used. So you need to again familiarize yourself with your unit's policies and procedures. And another suggestion is, if you're a new nurse, it doesn't hurt to ask an older nurse for help. As she's going to be more familiar with your unit's policies and procedures. Also, one of the considerations is pills. When you take a pill and look at it, two or three different pills, which may have different measurements, all look the same. They may all look pink, but they may, that does not mean that they're all equal to the same number of milligrams or micrograms. So take the time to find out exactly what is written on the container that you get it out of. And another problem is when you dilute medication, make sure that you have followed the manufacturer's instructions. Be very sure that when you dilute like powders into liquids that you know exactly what you're diluting it with, whether you're supposed to dilute it in normal saline or sterile water, whatever the case might be, because there are medications like Dilantin that can only be diluted in normal saline. So have a nice day and take the time to look at dearnurses.net, math solutions for nurses. Have a nice day.